As of August 13, 2024, the situation of the armed forces of Ukraine continues to deteriorate rapidly in the Korsk region. A few hours ago, the commander of the Spetsnaz Akhmet, General Apti Alodinov, made another statement regarding the situation in the southern part of the Kursk region. According to him, the plan to invade the Kursk region prepared by Ukraine and NATO has completely failed. General Apti Alodinov noted that Russian troops are in full control of the situation in the Kursk region. This largely happened thanks to the Russian reserves deployed there. According to General Apti Alodinov, it took the Russian reserves some time to settle in a new terrain and establish communication between the units. And now, Russian troops are successfully destroying enemy forces in all areas of the southern part of the Kursk region. General Apti Alodinov noted that only near Martinovka, the armed forces of Ukraine lost about 1,000 soldiers and 20 units of heavy equipment, including tanks, armored personnel carriers, and infantry fighting vehicles. In this sector of the front, the positions of the armed forces of Ukraine are attacked by fighters of the Chechen Spetsnaz Akhmet, together with Marines of the 810th Marine Brigade of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation. Commenting on the fighting in the Kursk region, General Apti Alodinov noted that the Ukrainian general staff and the North Atlantic Alliance sent on the offensive not mobilized Ukrainian soldiers, but elite units of the armed forces of Ukraine armed with the most modern Western weapons. In addition, these units of the armed forces of Ukraine were significantly strengthened by active duty soldiers and officers of the NATO armies. General Apti Alodinov noted that soldiers and officers from almost all NATO countries are fighting on the side of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kursk region. However, it is Poland and France that continue to hold the leading positions in terms of the number of their soldiers and officers fighting on the side of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kursk region. The attack on the Kursk region is a real terrorist act that was prepared by the NATO bloc with the direct participation of the United States and Britain. Their so-called blitzkrieg in the Kursk region has completely failed. The Ukrainian army and NATO forces are suffering huge losses in manpower and equipment. They are no longer able to move forward. Currently, Russian troops have begun to destroy the enemy in other areas of the Kursk region, General Apti Alodinov said. The rapidly deteriorating situation of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Korsk region is also confirmed by the fact that Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups began attacking the Krasnoyarsky district, in the Belgorod region. The attempts of the armed forces of Ukraine to attack the border settlements of the Belgorod region are due to the fact that the units of the Ukrainian army are unable to expand the area of control of territories in the Korsk region. The fact is that the Ukrainian High Military Command understands perfectly well that the units of the armed forces of Ukraine, located in the Kursk region, can not only lose their supply routes, but also even get surrounded. In this regard, the Ukrainian general staff decided to create another hotspot on the Russian border, this time in the Belgorod region. Ukrainian and NATO generals hope that this will force Russian troops to begin transferring their forces from the Kursk direction to the Belgorod region, thereby easing pressure on the positions of the armed forces of Ukraine. In addition, in the event of a successful attack on the Belgorod region, the Ukrainian army and NATO forces may receive several more supply routes for their troops, which will allow the armed forces of Ukraine to remain on Russian territory for quite a long time. At the moment, a lot will depend on the competent actions of the Russian High Military Command. It is the subsequent actions of the Russian High Military Command that will become a determining factor for both, 
the Russian army and the armed forces of Ukraine. Currently, the Russian generals must solve the problem with the Belgorod region, but at the same time continue to increase pressure on the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kursk region and continue the successful offensive in the Donbass. Unfortunately for the Ukrainian general staff and its NATO advisors, the Russian army is still managing to maintain an offensive pace in the Donbass and at the same time continue to oust the Ukrainian armed forces from the Kursk region. By the way, a few minutes ago, reputable Russian telegram channels, citing their own sources in the Russian military department, stated that on the night of August 12, 2024, Iskander M ballistic missiles struck and destroyed the building of the Central House of Children and Youth Creativity in the urban-type settlement of Zalikiv in the Kharkiv region. This settlement is located just a few hundred meters from the border of the Belgorod region. It is reported that at the time of the missile strike, the French commando unit of about 150 soldiers was in this building. It is reported that as a result of this missile attack, about 100 French citizens were killed. It is reliably known that the Ukrainian and NATO generals plan to throw this French commando unit in the area of the settlement of Krasnaya Yaruga, in the Belgorod region. The French were supposed to strengthen the attacking actions of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Belgorod region, and thereby force the Russian High Military Command to begin transferring some units of the Russian troops from the Kursk region. However, these plans were not destined to come true. Russian intelligence managed to identify the location of enemy forces in time and delay a full-scale attack on the Belgorod region.